right, good morning everyone. I just voted and every time I get to do this, it's both exciting and nerve wracking. When it comes to election time, I try to read books about from our founding fathers, about our founding fathers, and, and uh, like to try and understand what they envisioned for this country. What did they really think? Because they wrote it down. It's not like we have to guess. We know, you know. So I also read or watch about the political system in Britain because that's where they're from. And some of that influenced them for both good and bad. They saw the bad in it and how it was, how we, how it could be made better. And then they saw like kind of the good in it and sort of how it was, how it maintained a freedom. So I was looking at that and I was watching the crown that Netflix just put out and thinking about how this country was formed, what was going on, what concepts were flying around, what concepts did they already have? And one line in the show kind of stuck with me, sounding kind of familiar, right? Where they referred to the government there as a government in her image and in her name, and that her being the queen, right? So our constitution says something similar, but about the people, where it says, we are the government. It's a government for and by the people, and that in our name and backed by us, they have the power to do what they what they do. So it seems to me, on some level, not not like equal or anything, but on some level, they took the monarchy, right? The idea of the monarchy, where their political system makes laws and governs the people for her. They made the people of America, the monarchy. They made them the kings and the queens of the nation. Instead of having one like family where that's just what it what happened. So when we vote, when we lift our voice in peaceful protest, when we keep our right to bear arms of all caliber and type, when we keep our freedoms, we're able to live as monarchs, as kings and queens of our own castles, of our home, of our land. It keeps you, keeps us, the people, from losing the ability to lift up our voices and show displeasure, and from lifting up our voices and showing great joy, okay? Remember to vote today and let our public servants know what their monarchs think. Now, you might be asking me, you know, what, what does this have to do with travel? Why is this on your travel one? You could have done this on your Christian one. And basically, it comes, it just boils down to this, all right? I enjoy wandering this nation freely. I enjoy being able to just go from state to state to state and having to deal with maybe just little differences in the state laws, right? A person can only wander freely if a nation is free. You can only do this and be free to enjoy the beauty of nature and the beauty that of all the man-made things here because our nation is free. And when we lose this right to vote, either because people are telling us, oh, it doesn't matter, oh, it's all rigged, oh, all these things, we lose that monarchy. We lose our freedom to wander, to go where we like. As, as in a way, as monarchs, as the kings and queens of America. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Go out and vote. This a great day for our nation, okay? I don't, I don't really care who you vote for at this point. I'm just saying exercise your rights. Exercise what you, as a monarch, can do. Okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye.